Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and Samsung DeX on the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus is amazing. You plug your phone directly into a monitor or now into your computer with a companion application and boom, a desktop-like user interface right there. It's pretty sweet, it feels like the future to this day. But what if you could take Samsung DeX on the go? Well, introducing the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus portable PC setup with Samsung DeX. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the most beautiful, powerful, and most functional Samsung device yet. I actually made a full review on this phone where I talk about how it's an amazing device for creators because of the camera, the S Pen, some of the software features. This is really a killer device overall. On the back of the phone I have this beautiful skin from our channel sponsor Dbrands, link in the description, and this skin comes in handy for more than keeping your phone fingerprint and scratch free. It's part of the setup, you'll see why shortly. The next big part of this setup is of course, that monitor. This is the Viotech LinQ Touch, a 16 inch 1080p touchscreen display that also comes with this amazing kickstand flip cover case, and it's actually an essential part of this setup. And the display itself looks pretty excellent. Colors look nice, it could be a bit brighter, but it's still definitely usable, and the touchscreen is very responsive. Unlike many other similar portable touchscreen monitors, this one actually has a glass cover instead of a plastic matte cover, so it is glossy, which is both a positive because it looks better, but also a negative because fingerprints, and if you drop it, it's gonna crack. There's also a headphone jack to make up for the lack of the one on the Note 10, and two USB-C ports, one for power and one for display connection, as well as a mini HDMI jack as well. So I decided to plug the Note 10 Plus directly into the monitor with a USB-C cable, but because the Note 10 can't power the monitor off its battery alone, I also have the Anchor PowerCore 10,000 mAh battery. I stuck it to the back of the case with a Velcro command strip and plugged it into the monitor with a USB-C to USB-A cable. Now I couldn't just leave the note flopping around on the table next to the monitor, so I actually got this magnetic car mount from a brand called Wizgear, stuck a Lego brick into the vents clip, then Gorilla glued the brick to the back of the tablet case so it stays locked in place. And believe me, Gorilla Glue is insanely strong, this thing is not going anywhere. If you don't have a Lego brick, you can also use an eraser or a piece of wood or metal or something, but just keep in mind, the clip doesn't actually open that far. And because this mount relies on magnets to hold your phone in place, you have to actually stick on the adhesive metal plate, including the box, to the back of your phone. Instead of putting it directly to the back of my phone, I put it on the D-brand skin I mentioned earlier so it blends in better and it's not stuck to the back glass of my phone. So now when I actually want to use the phone with Samsung DeX, it's super easy. I take the phone, slap it onto the mount, plug in the phone, turn on the battery, and boom, it's ready to go. Now because the Note is more of a pro device, I decided to go with some pro high level peripherals. So I have the Vinpoc TapTac mechanical keyboard with RGB backlighting, amazing mechanical keyboard feel, and it's fairly compact, as well as the king of all computer mice, the Logitech MX Master 2S. Both of these are amazing, and I actually use these exact peripherals with my main computer setup as well. And for audio, I decided to go with a pair of over-ear headphones, and we're going all out here with the Microsoft Surface noise-canceling headphones. These are my favorite over-ear noise-canceling headphones by far. I've tested them on planes, on city streets, these things are amazing. And one of my favorite features is the fantastic dial control setup here. Turn the dials to adjust volume and noise-canceling levels, tap the sides to play and pause, skip track, previous track, voice assistant. These things are amazing for controls, and they also sound excellent as well. I can also plug the headphones directly into the monitor with the included 3.5mm cable if I don't want to go Bluetooth wireless. So that's the setup, but what can you actually do with it? Well, basically everything you could do on your phone and more on a bigger touchscreen with a desktop user interface. You can open your apps, files, and photos, multitask, it's pretty damn cool having all these floating windows in action at the exact same time. You can also edit photos or videos with a larger display and precision of a mouse, which can't be beat. And it is of course a touchscreen still, so you can actually pinch to zoom in, tap things, play games with the touchscreen, it's all still there. You can also play some games decently well with the mouse and keyboard, or ditch those accessories altogether and switch to a Bluetooth controller and gaming on a bigger screen with your phone. It's pretty awesome. 
In the future, you're going to also be able to likely run Linux as well, since most of the past devices do actually support it, it's only a matter of time for the notes. I can see the comments for this setup already. You're going to say it's ridiculous, it's overkill, it's clunky, it's complex, it's super extra, and it's also very expensive too. You can buy a used Windows laptop, a Chromebook, a tablet for the same price, or cheaper than all the accessories part of the setup. And plus, it's probably going to be much better built as well. I saw the criticism in my previous Galaxy S10 Plus setup video and I totally understand why this doesn't make any logical sense. I get it. But this is sort of a rough vision or a concept of the future of computing, where you use your phone as your main computer as well. Samsung DeX is definitely ahead of its time. It's really not that useful right now and people don't really see it as a serious way to do any sort of computer work. But believe me, I'm saying it now, it's gonna be the future of computing, where your phone is everything. If for some strange reason you still want to actually make this crazy Note 10 Plus PC setup for yourself, links to all the parts and accessories in the description down below. The mouse, the keyboard, the monitor, all those things, they're all there. And tell me in the comments down below what you actually think of this setup. Could you use it as your main computer, or is it the most ridiculous, stupidest thing you've ever seen? Tell me in the comments, and thank you for watching.